What's up everyone, Merc here. With the CDL entering its first ever postseason, we wanted to get prepared by highlighting the three main roles you'll be seeing in action. We'll be covering everything from the basics to identifying points of interest on the map to hearing tips right from the pros. In this episode, we will be taking a closer look at the human turrets themselves, the AR players. So buckle up, COD fans. It's time for Roll Call. When playing an AR role, you are choosing a slower playstyle while acting as the anchor for your team. This means you're looking to establish yourself at power positions on the map towards the back of your team's formation. Generally, from a high angle, these power positions allow you to create space and provide advantages to your SMG teammates as you have the longest and best sight lines, leading to high percentage shots. I play the main AR role, so I'm usually the one that's going to be, you know, holding spawns or looking over my teammates. So as long as I'm winning my 1v1s against the other AR player, I'll feel like I'm really doing my job. You know, I'm always looking over my teammates at that point. Because once I kill the AR player, then I know that, okay, now there's no one else that's going to be looking over their players, and we just kind of all just mow down the rest of the players together. Um, so it's a huge battle all the time throughout respawns between me and the other AR player. As a main AR player, it's also vital to have great map awareness so you can preempt exactly where the enemy is coming from. It's not your job to be jumping and sliding all over the place. Just hold your angles and mow them down. The, the whole concept of pre-aiming is, is you're expecting a gunfight at this point of the map or around this corner or here. And that really just comes down to your game sense as well. Like if you know that they're spawning here or there's more than likely a player here, you're going to be ready for that fight. So having your gun up and ready is really important. On respawn game modes like Hardpoint and Domination, once your team has secured the point, it is common to let your SMGs fly ahead early while the AR hangs back to pick up time on the objective. But don't think your job is as easy as finding a power position and shooting. The thing is, everyone else on the map knows where the power positions are and are trying to eliminate you from them by any means necessary. Often, this is with enemy equipment like a Semtex or stun grenades. To counter this as an AR player, you'll want to run a trophy system as a field upgrade to negate those incoming projectiles. Uh, the trophy system is huge. If I didn't have it, I would die all the time. But I, I'm usually in hills for most of the hardpoint maps. And when you're in the hill, the other team is going to know nades to get you out of the hill, obviously. So they're going to be lobbing them over from all over parts of the map. But the trophy system keeps me alive 80% of the time, you know. Sometimes I'll, I'll get a kill here and there, but without the trophy system, I'm going to die 100% of the time. So it's, it's the most important thing I have as an AR player. For tactical equipment, it is quite normal for an AR player to run a stun or a flash grenade to help deter enemy flanks or to help their team gain a map advantage. The nade and stun, um, I use a Semtex, so that's just easier to throw over a hill or to get somebody out of a, a power position than a frag, because cooking a frag just takes time. And then a stun is what I use. A lot of times it's, it's good to just throw your stun and nade, throw your stun first because you destroy the trophy that's more than likely in the hard point. It takes a hit. The, each trophy has three hits, so you want to throw your stun, nade, and then your teammate throws his stun, and then the nade will hit. When selecting perks, AR players are looking to maximize their time alive on the map. Typically, you'll want to run EOD on perk 1. EOD is helpful because it reduces the damage taken from all those grenades being thrown your way. For perk 3 in the CDL, Battle Harden is almost universally taken as it synergizes with EOD by reducing the strength of enemy flashes and stuns. Let's take a closer look at arguably the most dominant map for AR players in Modern Warfare, Azir Cave. Azir Cave allows AR players to take over the game through the multiple protected long lines of sight. Don't just take our word for it, let's hear from the Dallas Empire's Clayster. Azir Cave is like a main AR's like best friend. I mean, it's just all super long sight lines. There's lots of verticality. There's lots of windows, all sorts of things you can kind of post up on. That's what makes Cave so good for a main AR is just how long distance it is, how open it is, and, and really just how many power positions there are on the map for a main AR. Now, don't think we've forgotten you search and destroy AR players out there. The value of ARs can be even greater in SD, as players who typically run an SMG in respawns may very well run an AR in SD for its better handling at mid to long range. In SD, gunfights are a lot less frequent and tend to happen across longer distances, so the value of ARs skyrockets. You are also positioned to gain enemy intel for the snipers on your team. The snipers will be watching the longest sight lines on the map and actively aiming down their scope, obscuring the total amount of vision they have. As the AR, you need to find separate sight lines and be versatile enough to switch between them to ensure you cover your friendly SMGs and snipers. Me as, a, as an SD player, I've been playing SD for 12 years at this point. I have a very unique role in that I'm kind of like 
the flank watcher, the odd bomb site that people normally don't go to. I'm usually over there. I'm normally kind of watching the flank in, in a way, and they call it kind of like the island player, where they, where they can choose if they want a late flank or if they hold the flank and wrap back to their teammates and really just I'm um, kind of maneuver around the map on their own a little bit on an island. And, and really, that's the role that I've been in for a long time and a role that I'm most comfortable in. Playing the AR for your team means getting to those power positions and providing your team support from medium to long distances. You enable your team's SMG players to do their job more effectively and prevent entry lanes to enemy players. You want to watch the best in the world play in AR? Keep an eye during the playoffs on Skies from the Florida Mutineers, Clayster from the Dallas Empire, and Wuskin from the London Royal Ravens. This has been the CDL Roll Call. Class dismissed. <laughs>